Here you are watching the average setup. Using this setup, we can determine the thickness of the object like hair, paper, then wire. Using this setup, we can determine this object. The apparatus required for this setup, traveling microscope, then sodium vapor lamp, then average setup, 45 degree inclined glass plate. This is the average setup. The average setup is formed by two glass plates. The two glass plate is one side the glass plate the tie up with rubber band so this is called as edge of contact. The other side is the object is placed in between the two glass plate. Now you are taking the object is hard. So we are find out the thickness of the hair. The inside the two ends the wet shape is formed. Inside the wet shape the air is present here. So we are called as average setup. So the average setup is placed in front of the sodium vapor lamp. Now the source is switched on, the light is fall on to the airbus setup. So the light is incident on the airbus due to this diffraction, the interference fringes are formed. The interference fringes are like this. We have alternative dark and bright fringes. Using this fringes, we can determine the thickness of the object. Now the traveling microscope having two cross wires. One is vertical cross wire, another one is horizontal cross wire. Now the vertical cross wire is coincide with any one of the yellow fringes. There are number of fringes. Now we are considering any one of the fringes. That end, that is called as consider as nth fringes. So corresponding nth fringes, we can note down the readings. Here we are, we are watching the interference fringes. The interference fringes having number of lines, number of fringes. So they are alternative dark and bright fringes. So the, the my traveling microscope having cross wires. One is vertical cross wire, another one is horizontal cross wire. The vertical cross wire is focused on any one of the line. So any one of the line is coincide with the vertical cross wire. So now we are note down the readings in the scale. The horizontal scale consists of two readings. One is main scale reading, another one is vertical scale coincidence. The main scale reading consists of 0 to 18 readings. The vernier scale coincidence having 1 to 50 divisions. The nth reading is focused on the vertical cross wire. The corresponding reading is, so we are taken out the one arrow mark. The arrow mark is coincide with the main scale reading. So the now we are taking the reading is 5.95, 5.95, so it is called as main scale reading. Then vernier scale coincidence having 50 readings, so any one of the division is coincide with the main scale reading, that is called as VSC, vernier scale coincidence. So after every four fringes, by using this horizontal screw, we can move the fringes by passing any 4-4 four, four division. By rotating the horizontal screw, we have, we have made the vertical cross wire at n plus 4 to fringes. For that, we have to note down the reading in horizontal cross, horizontal scale. Similarly, we have note down the readings up to 40 fringes. That means, for every 4 fringes, we have to note the readings. Note, the angle setup is not disturbed while taking the readings. The same, the horizontal screw only rotates, you should rotate only one direction. By using this formula, we can determine the thickness of the given material. The formula is T is equal to lambda L divided by 2 beta meter. So lambda is the wavelength of the sodium vapor lamp, sodium vapor light. The wavelength of light is 5893 into 10 power minus 10 meter. L is the distance between the edge of contact and the wire. Then beta is the, beta is obtained from the tabular column.